Hello, in this video we will learn how to program a microcontroller STM32103 uh, to drive a touch screen, this touch screen. We will need some files that we can find in this web page and in this folder. We extract the compressed file here. Extract in this same folder and we can suppress this. These folders have the uh, header files and also the uh, source files. We are going to need an application which is STM32CubeMX and we will need to select my board. I have a nuclear board. I must check this nuclear 64 and mine is this one, 103. Start project, initialize our peripheral to the default mode. And once here, the only thing that I have to do is go to the project manager here in some folder, for example, this low level 103. I have to choose the ID of my choice. And here I usually prefer not to copy all the used library but only to have a link to the required libraries and this is important if I want to use the low level library I have to select here for all the resources this low level library and then I will generate the code my ID will appear if I open the project and after that I have to do some steps. First of all, I have to create a group. Mm, I can call, for example, TFT source. And in this folder, I will include all the source files that I need. I will need all of them except uh, this and this. Add also here these ones and close um, I must go to this tab I must select where are my header files they are here and also here this is for my 103 microcontroller and finally this one okay i need to uh, include a define and that's all Here I have an example of a uh, main, but uh, I think it's better if uh, we keep this main just as given by our application STMQ. But I can get these lines and copy here. Also the tasks here in the endless loop. Here, between user code begin while and user code end while. And I don't want this uh, file to be compiled, so I exclude from the compilation process. Uh, there's some error here. And now I can compile. It will take a while, the first time. Perfect, no errors, no warnings. So I can uh, download it to the flash. If I download, the screen will get black. And if I press the reset button, all the tests began to be performed. It deals with shapes, tests, English and Chinese tests, different font sizes, and also 
Mm, it deals with images and rotate them. And finally, I have here a touch test. And it also works. And now we'll do the same, but using the whole library. Again, we should use this application and we will choose our nucleo board. This is our nucleo, 64, and among them we should choose this one. I initialize to the default mode. And now it's even easier. I only have to type here some name, select the ID of my choice, and here this is not necessary, but for me it's better. And I don't need now to modify these settings because I will use the whole library. So I generate the code. Let the application open my project. And here, again, I will add a group called, for example, TFT. And I will include the files that I need. They are here. Now, this is the one that I will keep, but I don't need these ones. Add, and here, this is 103, here, and this. Now, I will select my include folders. The first one inside the second one and finally the third one okay here i will include this define um no this and this this is the main that is given by the application. This is the main with the lines that I should include. I move these lines to the main and also the tasks between user code begin while and user code end while. I copy these lines into the same place of the mail. So I don't need uh, this anymore, so I exclude from compilation and compile. It will take a bit longer. And perfect, no errors, no warnings. And that's all. Thank you for watching.